and one Hillcrest High School student has a long road of recovery ahead of her after she was hit by a truck last week just outside the DNG grocery store. But she won't have to travel that road alone. WVA's Kim Garner has more on how our community is reaching out to help Jennifer Abbott. It's a call no family ever wants to get. It's surreal. It's things that you hear other families going through. You know, it happens to other people, and you know, and you feel bad for them, but you don't think it's going to happen to you. 17-year-old Jennifer Abbott was hit by a truck, then pinned between it and a steel beam outside of a local grocery store, injuring her so severely that she had to lose one leg. Since then, her family has practically moved into UAB Medical Center. And this has kind of been our home away from home since Wednesday. This has been our campground, and we have filled it up. But Abbott's family aren't the only supporters of the high schooler. Her friends have shown up in a big way. All hours, all hours of the day and night. Abbott's family said many of them even donated blood, eager to help in whatever possible way. And even complete strangers have embraced the teenager. The doctors are great, the nurses are great. They've, it's been personal care. We, we, we couldn't have asked for anything more. Abbott's mother, Carol, says one nurse overheard her say she would love to see her daughter's hair braided, but that she didn't know how. That nurse stayed after her shift to braid Jennifer's hair, a testament to what this girl has meant to so many people. Jennifer's not a leg. She's a person, so she's going to be Jennifer with or without a leg. Doctors say their next concern for Abbott will be pneumonia and the risk of infection from her injuries, but Abbott's family says they are optimistic. She's just a fighter, obviously, and her family is too. Kim Garner, WVUA News. Thank you, Kim. And a fund has been set up to help with expenses during this very difficult time. If you'd like to donate, just drop by any Compass Bank and just ask for the Jennifer Abbott Fund.